Hey Kira, I'm uh, Teresa Conley, the Chief Operations Officer of the St. Rose Siena Campus and the Chief Executive Officer of the Rose de Lima Campus. And I'm pleased to be able to talk about growth and things that we are having happen this year at our Siena campus and at our Rose de Lima campus. First, our Siena campus is in the process of a 107 bed tower construction. Uh, we are running ahead of schedule and um, the facility is coming together beautifully. Uh, we expect that we will have the emergency department open possibly by August and the rest of the tower will follow by October. The emergency department will more than double the size of bays. We have 26 bays now, we'll have 56 bays. It was designed with healthcare reform in mind, intentionally to create a very large number of emergency department services. We've also expanded cardiovascular services, OR services, and orthopedic services. Our fifth floor will be shelled for future growth um, believe it or not, by the year 2020, um, it is expected that uh, the campus will be full in that capacity again. And that's one of the things we've struggled with at our Siena campus is the lack of beds and being over capacity. This is a great opportunity for, for us and for the community and to improve uh, the services that we provide at our Siena campus. So look for that coming on board this year. Um, Siena is a tertiary facility. We do acute care services. We're a trauma center. Uh, we do hearts. We're stroke certified. Um, these are all acute services. Um, acute care services save your lives and if you are a victim of a, of a trauma you could get taken to Siena and when patients leave a trauma service uh, they get their lives back. We save their lives but it's only through rehab services that you truly get your life back. So when you leave a trauma center you may not be able to comb your hair or brush your teeth and it's through rehab services that we help you get those skills back. Our Rose de Lima campus is expanding its rehab services and is working to be a center of excellence for rehab services. When we investigated this, the outstanding and best services for rehab in the area was out of state. And we are very confident that Rose de Lima campus can provide the best, if not better, services to pull patients from across the country. We currently have staff that are trained physical therapists and we have some state-of-the-art state of the equipment that is as high-end as any other in the country. Uh, the science for rehab is expanding considerably so patients with spinal cord injuries, strokes, head injuries are now regaining function and learning to walk. Um, and working with a team and the right equipment, uh, we can do that at our Rose de Lima campus. So look for that coming on board this year. We have an outstanding team there. An expansion in rehab services. We're bringing 10 more beds on. We currently have 28 beds. Uh, and then we're focusing on home health services. This is another thing much needed for our community. Outstanding home health services are going to be important with health care reform and much more of health care occurring in the home and in the community. So thank you for this opportunity. I really enjoy talking about the great things that we're doing at our St. Rose Hospitals.